time again for another uh, review video. Uh, today we're taking a bit of a divergence from the things we've kind of been reviewing for the most part, and this time going with a bit of a sci-fi kick, uh, specifically the AMT uh, Polar Lights uh, boxing of the USS Enterprise B. So let's get into it. Kid, one thing I, I do want to point out is the box art on this kit, as it's really nice. So, getting into it, uh, here we have some of the various odd and end parts, um, including the uh, ACL fronts. Now, uh, one of the problems with this kit, or not so much a problem, just a real pain in the ass to do, is the neck parts. Um, they come in three different parts that you got to basically finagle together. Um, now anyone who's built a Husqvarna Phantom using the supplied uh, main gear box can tell you that that type of setup is really difficult to get right. Uh, moving on we got some more some of the deck parts and the uh, top of the cell split. Uh, anyway, here we have the uh, main body of the ship, the top of the deck, and uh, two of the nacelles. Uh, another bottom of the main body, and two little extra parts that I'm not 100% sure on. But I'll need to look at the instructions. Uh, here we have the various clear parts that go into the instruction as well as a couple more here. Now, uh, one thing I do know from reading online and from various sources is that the lower hole uh, saucer part or does have some issues. Uh, specifically, in the original boxing, it had issues with lacking this groove and this being improperly sized. Now, uh, looking at this and looking at photos online of aftermarket conversion sets, uh, which I will link in the bottom, uh, to look at this, it looks almost like they did correct those issues, but I'm not 100% sure. As on the resin part, this does this groove does look a little deeper, and this does look slightly smaller, but I'm not 100% sure. So again, someone else can obviously take a look there and decide for yourself. Now, uh, one issue that does still reside with this kit is the bridge, as it's basically it's too small for this scale. It, as this kit is one one thousandth scale, which I forgot to mention at the start, but the as you can even see, it does look just looking at it, it does seem a little off scale. Now, one nice thing about this kit is that it does come with a base, which I've kept in the bag just for ease, as there's a couple loose parts that I don't want to lose. But it also provides a uh, metal connecting rod, which definitely is a big plus over potentially a plastic one, as once you do start adding kit parts together, it does can get quite hefty in the weight department. I'm harmoniously chuck those back in. Now moving on to the decals. Um, this is where it's a little bit let down as anyone who's seen the um, the seventh Star Trek movie can tell you that one of the things is it does have a lot of blue markings. Uh, here we only get all the stencils which is unfortunate but on the plus side it does include a, a second ship for markings, but unfortunately there's no Azteking as if you look on, even on the box out, you can tell this, the discoloration here and essentially almost like a digital camouflage pattern. Now in order to do this, the easiest way would obviously be to decal the thing, but at the same time, obviously that would be as it shared difficulties alternatively is masking it but that's going to take a lot of time and effort and just generally be a big pain to do 
but obviously it would look better. Now, moving on to the actual instructions, uh, <clears throat> there are a lot of small, excuse me, little sub assemblies that need to go together before you close stuff up, so that can potentially be tricky. And also, uh, considering some of the how parts have to fit together can additionally cause problems just because you got to make sure everything lines up properly. And now what is nice is this does almost look close to about half a little, well, I'm not sure I'm saying on in terms of the scale of the drawings, but they do include the very detailed painting guide, which I do like and and all truth in this, no, when they, it's a lot easier when companies do do this. So, uh, is it a kit I would recommend for everybody? No, uh, I do recommend if you do plan to get the rest of the ships in the scale as it does look like it'll build up very nicely, but it's definitely has its issues and potential challenges so not just for somebody who's an experienced someone who does have a little more experience would definitely enjoy this kit but overall i'd say it's it is a satisfying kit oh um yeah that was the amt 1 1000 skill enterprise b uh, until next time